Hi guys, welcome to this episode. Today I'm going to be talking about focus points on this Canon 7D. Um, some of you have been asking me about how to get sharper images, so I'm going to talk about uh, basically focus points. So basically, in a sense, I'm shooting in manual. So I'm just going to put it in manual. So there's manual mode. Okay, so manual with for M. And uh, I'm going to click on menu. Uh, sorry, not menu, Q button. So the Q button, that one there. And then I'm going to go to... So I've gone, uh, the last video I talked about aperture and shutter and ISO. So this video I'm going to talk about focus points. So click on that one, it's that one there, okay. Click on this button and then you can change your focus points. So like literally, I mean, um, I mean literally a value. So if I, if I just select that, I can select that and then see that one there. I hover this wheel, um, I can change the type of focal point. So if I go to spot focus, which is that one. Now what this is basically one focus point. So if you do portraits, for example, you might want to move this around to get it to the right position. So for one focus points, and there you go, I'm some sort of shooting. So for example, if you've got somebody standing, you can literally select and focus. If you click on this button here, now I don't know if this is going to work. If you click on this button here, you can see your focus points through your viewfinder. Now I'm going to try to focus this in for you guys. I don't think it's going to work, but let me give it a go. So let's just focus that in. Is that going to work? Oh no, it's not going to work. But you can see, literally, what that does is if you click on this button here, you can see your focus points through here and change it that way as well. So let me just focus that back in again. So I'm just shooting this with a smartphone, guys. So bear with me. Um, again, if I click on my um, focus point, so if I click on that, again, I can sort of change it like this. I can move. So if I've got a subject standing there, I can select that one. Okay, once you're happy with it, you can move, you can go and select a different focus point. And all I did was click on this button and then just click on that button and then it takes me back to the main menu and I can change the type of focus. So if I select that one, for example, now I can select a more wider range of focus points. This is useful for if you're doing um, like group shots, for example, and you want to really sort of capture, you want to make sure um, a range of elements is in focus. Like for example, if you've got 10 apples in a scene, you want to make sure that all those 10 apples are in focus. So again, click on that. You can move it around to wherever the particular area you want it to focus. And again, if you click on this button here, you can see it through there and do it through the viewfinder. I quite I do that quite a lot too. I don't sort of look at my um, sort of LCD screen and do it by the touch screen. I tend to just click on this and look through there and unfortunately I can't you know my camera's not really focusing into that so I can't show you but essentially if you click on that it'll do that again Q button click on that again let me just focus in a little bit more again there we go sorry guys um, and again if I go to my focus points and I can again move these around with this dial here and when you want to select it so if I select that click on this button and now it'll turn dark and blue it's selecting if you want to change it change the focus points just basically do that Click on the Q, click on this middle button, and again. So that that one there basically is selecting all. So the camera is going to do it automatically, so it's going to automatically select 19 um, focus points on this particular camera. So this camera's got not that many focus points. It's only got 19 focus points. You know, and nowadays with you know new cameras like the Sony A7R and kind of 5D Mark IV got like like so many focus points, and this model hasn't got that many. So it's okay. It does the job. Um, the picture quality is always superb. So as long as you use these focus po focus points in a creative way, and you manage to sort of kind of get in between it in and out, then it shouldn't be any problem. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, press the hit uh, the uh, the bell. Um, I am trying to hit my ten thousand. So you know, please do try to uh, subscribe and get all your mates to subscribe as well because I'm I'm almost there. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.